And right now on The Steel Report, welcome back. We have two great guests here to talk about a new book that has been written about Waterloo. In fact, it's called Stars in Waterloo. I think I said in my introduction earlier, Stars of Waterloo, but it's actually Stars in Waterloo. We'll show you a copy of it right now here on the screen. And the two authors are here with us today, and I'll introduce them to you right now because they have amazing backgrounds. A lot of it has to do with wrestling. Let me introduce, first of all, Don Huff. Don is well known. In fact, Don and his wife, Don, are well known in our community, of course. Uh, they've been around for many years. In fact, Don's a Waterloo native. Is Don a Waterloo native, too? Yes. How about that? So both of you are Waterloo natives. Now, Don spent more than 20 years as the head wrestling coach at Waterloo West High School. By the way, in case you didn't know, he was a two-time state high school championship uh, wrestler for the Wahawks, state champion. Also wrestled at Northern Colorado, where he was an NCAA qualifier. Also wrestled for the Hawkeyes. In fact, Don's family, the Huff family, inducted in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2013. Congratulations on that, Don. That's Thank fantastic. You. And also, well-known Iowan from Newton, Mike Chapman, also a Waterloo native, though, I should point out. You were born right here in Waterloo, Mike, one of wrestling's biggest promoters. I think everyone knows that. Mike is a well-known author and historian. He's a member of several wrestling halls of fame. He's a five-time National Wrestling Writer of the Year, former sports editor of the Cedar Apple Gazette. He's written more than 30 books, and I think at least 15 of them, Mike, have to do with wrestling. I know you wrote, uh, wrote a great book, a biography of Governor Terry Branstead. He was also the driving force behind the creation of the Dan Gable Wrestling Museum when it was in Newton and now in Waterloo. So welcome to the program, guys. I could go on and on just talking about both of you, but we're not here to talk about you today, are we? We're here to talk about your book. And Don, you're a part of this. You're listed as one of the authors with, with Mike. Uh, where'd the idea come from? Let's start with you. It came from Mike, and uh, I had talked to him uh, several years ago about helping me write a book about Bob Siddons, and, uh, and he did, and we got that book out, and he approached me to help him with the stars in Waterloo. And uh, I was happy to work with Mike. Uh, he's done a, a tremendous amount of the work along with his wife, Bev. And I, I put in uh, some time and effort here in Waterloo as we uh, work through the book. Oh, that's fantastic. And Mike, I'm, people know you've written so many books anyway. And talking about your wife, Bev, you said you've been married 51 years. And you said she years, was Ron. a writer. So that's kind of how wrestling got started out there, wasn't it? Well, to some degree, <laughs> I guess I can take a little credit. When I first met Bev, she's from a family of 15 children out by uh, Eagle Center. And none of the family knew anything about wrestling. And I took Doug Ryder and Hal Ryder and Dan Ryder and Russ Ryder, four of her brothers, to an Iowa wrestling meet. And they were immediately hooked. And immediately they turned to the sport of wrestling. And it's, it's an amazing story of what the writers have meant to wrestling at Gilbertville, Don Bosco, and the state of Iowa. But this book is about stars in Waterloo. So people who have come to this city, like President Ronald Reagan, like you mentioned in your book, 13 presidents have actually visited the city of Waterloo and of course Ronald Reagan being one of them. So Don says you, you, the idea came from you, so why write a book like this and, and uh, how is it going so far? Yeah. Well that's a great question, Ron, why we would write a book like this. I'm a history nut, Don's a history nut. nut. I love Waterloo, born and raised here, graduated from East High. And I think the catalyst for the book, Ron, came when I discovered that Amelia Earhart had actually given a speech on the stage at East High, nine months before she took off on her fatal historic flight. And I was thinking to myself, my goodness, if I went to East High and I'm a historian and a newspaper person and never knew Amelia Earhart spoke at my high school, how many other great stories are there out there? So I started doing research. I found out Buffalo Bill was here four times in 1901. He brought Annie Oakley with him. And then the whole story just kind of exploded, Ron. When I talked to Don and he said, well, did you know Buddy Holly was here at the Electric Park? And then we said, did you know this and this? And the next thing you know, we, we had the, the beginning of a book. And we worked so well together on the Siddons book that I kind of lassoed him into this one. And I said, okay, I helped you with Siddons. Now you've got to help me with this. And it's been a great partnership. Yeah, I mean, Don, you spent many years as, Don, as uh, Bob Siddons' assistant wrestling coach over at West High and then took over for him. So he was a tremendous factor in your life, wasn't he? Uh, he was a big influence on our whole family. Because um, you, yours is a wrestling family. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, my older brother got started. and uh, Three-time state champion, I think, if I remember right. And my younger brother is a three-time okay, okay. state champion. My oldest brother was second twice. 
The next brother, Dale, was third once, then I was a state champion, and Tom was a three-time state champion. Amazing. That's fantastic. So you've got some book signings coming up. In fact, we're airing this program, of course, as usual here on a Sunday morning. So this Wednesday is one of the first book signings for the stars in Waterloo. So tell us about that one. Don, you want to give us the information on that? Or? Well, it will be held at Farmer State Bank at uh, th their site at the Towers off San Marnan Drive. <laughs> and uh, uh, that will be our first book signing, and it will be on Wednesday from, I've got to go to Mike for the time. Uh, that will be from noon to one. Okay. And the reason we're doing it there at Farmer State Bank is because they're our sponsor. Fantastic. Uh, we reached out to them through Jeff Frost, a good friend of ours. Absolutely. And Jeff's a great educator, and he loved the idea of this book. We think this is an educational book, Ron. Jeff's going to be on the program next week talking about the Waterloo Career Center, by the oh, way. Oh, my right. goodness. With Superintendent Dr. Jane Lindemann. So we, yeah. we wanted to give Farmer State Bank a, a big thank you and hold our first book signing ever. That's the first time that the public will ever see this book. Oh, that's fantastic. We had, we, I mentioned we showed you the copy there that we're going to keep here in the KWL studios. Mike's been, uh, Mike and Donna have been kind enough to give us our own personal KWWL copy, so we appreciate that. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the back of the book right there, and Martin Luther King Jr., of course, everyone knows that, that he came here uh, at, at least, I think, three times at least that, I, that I'm aware of, and maybe you're, you guys know more about that, that, but that's just one historical figure that, um, of so many that you mention in this book, isn't it? Yeah. Thirteen presidents. Barack Obama holds the record. He was here eight times. The first one was William McKinley in 1898. I wasn't here for that one, Ron, but I heard all about it. And it, it's amazing. And then we talk about the Waterloo Hawks baseball system. There was a professional football team here called the Wildcats. Uh, Curly Holtman, we tapped into his vast reservoir of knowledge. <laughs> Absolutely. And we found out about Murray Weir and the NBA team and Jack Bender, the legendary uh, uh, nationally known artist for the Courier. He provided so much information, Ron, and it just came pouring out. And we're so excited about this book. You know, Murray Weir, the late Murray Weir, we were talking one time. This is when I was sports director years ago. And he said, Ron, you know, I had so much fun at the University of Iowa, I never passed off once. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking, of course, but he was at. I'm not sure he was joking, Ron. Not he sure. didn't pass off a lot. Prolific player for, for the University of Iowa, and yes. of course, and led uh, East Waterloo. Uh, the championship that we, we so vividly remember. And of course, Steve McGraw has done a great job over there too. I mean, you could just go down the list and you know, just give me a couple of your favorite ones that you have, Mike. Don Perkins, eight years in the National Football League. Reggie Roby, 16 years in the wow. National Football League. A fellow by the name of Dan Gable, <laughs> who I think we all know. But I always had, Waterloo's had three Olympic wrestlers, Chuck Yagla, mm -hmm. Bob Buzzard, and Dan Gable. We also had an Olympic diver, Zoan Olson, who won a silver medal in 1948 and a bronze medal in 1952 and won 11 national titles. Uh, sh her father was a principal at Laporte, so she lived in Laporte for a long time, and she did a lot of her practice diving in Waterloo pools, Ron. And then we talk about Rich Folkers from Waterloo, eight yeah. years in the major leagues, and like you say, the stories just go on and on and on. Don, here's one. Here it caught my attention right there. That's a good one. We all have heard of Kenick Stadium. Well, the great Niall Kenick spoke here, what was that, 1941, February 3rd, 1941. Yeah. So That's Niall, correct. Niall Kenick. So again, you have the book signing coming up this Wednesday at noon at Farmer State Bank. That's out at the south edge of town there in the Tower Park district out there. It's easy to find. And then another one on Saturday, the following Saturday, right? And yes, that October going to be? 19th at the Becker Chapman American Legion Post. And the amazing thing about that, Ron, is Fred Becker from East Waterloo became the very first All-American football player at the history of the University of Iowa in 1916 as a sophomore, signed up, fought in World War I, lost his life in heroic fighting on the Western Front, came back to Waterloo, was buried three years later. 5,000 people attended his funeral wow. in, in 1921. So we have pictures of Carl Chapman and Fred Becker and Duke Slater, mm -hmm. uh, who came here and gave a speech on civil rights in 1948. And 
the movie Audie Murphy was here. He was in the lobby of the Paramount Theater in 1953, wow. the most decorated <laughs> soldier in World yeah. War II history. And I got his autograph when I was eight years old, Ron, and I still have it. It's hanging on my wall in Newton. Wow. You mentioned Fred Becker, of course. The elementary school right here in Waterloo is named in his honor and memory. And then I noticed that you mentioned the Sports of Sorts Clubs that, 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 that met once a week. In fact, I remember when Russ Smith was still alive, the Waterloo Courier, he kind of headed that up. And uh, Dick Buckus came one time, <laughs> it says right here in the book, yeah. That was always a great, great uh, sports of sorts was something that went on it over 50 years, didn't it? Yeah. Over 50 years, and Butkus was here, and Gail Sayers, and Wilt Chamberlain, and Roger Maris. People would, Joe Lewis was here. We have a picture of Russ Smith greeting Joe Lewis wow. at the Waterloo Airport, and people are just stunned about the people that came here. Nine World Heavyweight Wrestling Champions defended wow. their title here, beginning with Frank Gotts in 1910. Amazing. So the stories just keep going. We have a picture of Bob Siddons, the, the most successful wrestling coach in national history. And other sports too, and basketball, hockey. We have a nice section on hockey. So it's an all-inclusive book. It's fantastic. I remember Don Denkinger invited me to Sports of Sorts one time because Rod Carew of the Minnesota Twins is gonna be there and I had a picture taken oh, my with goodness. my friend Don Denkinger and Rod Carew. In fact, I had a chance to meet Rod Carew just a couple of years ago after he had his heart surgery, you know, and his heart transplant over at the Field of Dreams. And what a fantastic person and what a wow. great representative for, for uh, the Minnesota Twins still and just a great figure in sports altogether. It was just a great thrill to meet him, yeah. I mean, this book is, is just amazing. It is called Stars in Waterloo. Mike Chapman, Don Huff are the authors, and uh, we hope you'll get out and see that. They'll be Wednesday noon at the Farmer State Bank, and then next Saturday, of course, uh, you said at the, uh, where's that going to be at the Becker Chapman? Becker Chapman and, Post. And what From time? 10 a.m. till noon. 10 a.m. till noon. So yeah. get out and check it out. And there's a lot of famous names in here. So we appreciate that, Don. Mike, thanks for coming by. We're going to continue with the Steel Report for this week. We'll tell you more about how you can help the Cedar Valley United Way.